All right, yo, what's going on everybody? It is Smitty back with another video and in today's video everyone I'm gonna be showing you how to import individual custom skins onto your Minecraft for Xbox So for my example right here I have a skin off the skin decks that a viewer made looks amazing and I have it on my Xbox right here I'm gonna show you how to do that any support is greatly appreciated I have videos for mods skins texture packs everything and for the best support I can help you at my discord server down below, but without any further ado Let's get into it so for this method, we actually need to begin by downloading just one application from the Microsoft Store. So as you would any other day, go ahead and find the Microsoft Shop on your, uh, on your console. And once you find that, go ahead and press on it. And once we are loaded into the Microsoft Shop, obviously go to the search bar. And once you're at the search bar, you want to start typing in My Files Explorer like this. And this is the app that we want right here, the purple My Files Explorer. I already have it owned. You want to press on that. And once you press on the My Files Explorer screen, it'll take you to this screen right here. I believe it might cost $2.60. I think I already bought it. If you need a 100% free method, I can actually help you at my Discord server to get it for free. But if you can, it costs $2.50. And I believe there's also a one day free trial. So you can go ahead and get the free trial. But get My Files Explorer downloading to your device. There is also one other application that we need to download in order to get this to work. So go back into the Microsoft shop and search for internet browser. It will be completely free and it will look like this, but go and get internet browser downloaded onto your Xbox also along with that file explorer. And now that we have all of our apps downloaded, we are going to go and get our skin. So go and find Microsoft Edge on your Xbox, which is the best browser and open Microsoft Edge. Once in Microsoft Edge, go up to this top URL right here, and this is what we need to type in. You want to select it and type in this right here, the Definitive Christmas Skins MC Pedal, exactly as it's shown. I actually entered it wrong into the search bar, but what that green text right there says, Definitive Christmas Skins MC Pedal, that's exactly what you want to enter in. Take some time, do that, and once you have that entered in, press enter. So we do that, and then it will be the top search result right here, the Definitive Christmas Skin Pack, 25 skins, and this is the skin pack we're going to edit with our custom skin. So press on this first link right here, the 25 skins, and that will load you to the MC Pedal page. Once at the MC Pedal page, scroll down to the bottom where it says downloads, and you want to find the zip download right here. That's the one we want, the top link, and press on that zip download link. It'll redirect you to this page, it'll say you're leaving, that's all right, press the green link in the middle of the screen, and once you press on that green link, it'll then take you to link for ties, and now we need to bypass link for ties. So once link for ties is loaded here, go up to this top search bar right here, it'll say link for ties, hover over it, and press the button with the three lines on it once you're hovering over it. Once you press on that button with the three lines on it, you want to go down to where it says copy, and we're going to copy this entire URL. Now we need to create a new tab, so go and hover over this uh, plus button right here and press on that to make a new fresh tab. And once you have that new fresh tab, go into the search bar and type in the bypasser. This is the website we need to bypass link for ties, exactly as it's shown on the screen right there. Enter that into your search bar, and once you enter that in, it will be the top search result, bypass ad link, and that's the website that you want to click on, so go and press on that. And after we press on this website, the website will look like this pretty much. And once you see this, you want to go to the middle bottom right here, it'll say insert with. Hover over this box, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller, and once you press that button with the three lines on it, you'll get these options. Go to where it says paste right here, and that will paste in the entire URL that you copied because it needs to know where to go. Once it's pasted in there, go to where it says bypass ad link, this green box, and press on that green box. And then once you finally press on that, it'll go under here where it says bypass links. You will then see your Mediafire download page, which is perfect. Hover over this Mediafire download link and press on this blue link right here, and then that will take you into Mediafire. Do not press download here, it won't work. You can't download stuff on Microsoft Edge, but we will need this skin pack later. But now what you wanna do is go and find the skin that you want whether that's off the skin decks or wherever open a new tab and uh, navigate to where your custom skin is so for me I'm just gonna use a skin that a viewer made uh, thank you so much for making this skin by the way amazing just go to the skin decks and find the skin that you want I have found my skin right here this is what every uh, skin decks page looks like and once you see this you want to go to where it says image link right here on the bottom right and we're going to press on image link and once you press on image link it will give you the URL to your image link which is perfect right here you want to press on it with the button with the three lines on it and then go to copy so we have this whole image link copied just as I show on the screen right here so I copy that entire link just like this now what we are going to do is use Internet Browser to download this. So Internet Browser is the second app that we downloaded. Go and launch Internet Browser exactly as it's shown on the screen right here. It'll look like this. Get that launched. And now we want to bring up our URL on the top of the screen. To do that, you can press the left button, left middle button with the two boxes on it. It'll bring up this top URL. And once you have this top URL opened, press the button with the three lines on it. 
And once you press on this button, it will give you these options. And from these options, you want to go down to where it says paste, because this will paste in our image link. So go and press on paste. And once you do that, you can go hover over this next arrow right here that's facing forward and press on that next arrow. And then it will take you to this very white page right here where your skin will be located in the top left. Drag your cursor over this image. And once you are hovered over your skin, just click on it. And once you click on it, you will get these options right here to show. And the option that we want to go to is where it says save image as. We're going to save this onto our Xbox. So after pressing that button, it'll say right here, this is fine. You can rename it if you want, but this is okay. Go to where it says save right here, and we're going to press on the save button. Uh, it'll then load for like two seconds. It'll say download is complete right here. And once that download is complete, press the button with two boxes on it. Then go to the very top right of your screen right here where these three dots are and press on those three dots. And once you press on those three dots, you'll get these options and you want to go down to where it says downloads right here because we just downloaded that skin. So go and press on downloads. You will see your skin as the top download right here and you want to press on it to select it. And once you press on it, you then want to go to the, uh, the button with the three dots on it yet again right here and press on that. <laughs> then once you press on that button, it'll take you to this page right here and you want to go to where it says save as from these options because again, we're getting close to saving this onto our Xbox. So press save as and then it'll take you to this screen right here. And what you want to do on the left side is go down to this bottom bottom button right here, this device, your Xbox, and press on that. After pressing on that button, you want to go to the downloads folder right here. That's where we're going to save this. Find that downloads folder, press on it. And once we are finally inside of the downloads folder, don't press anything in here, but just go to the bottom right and press the save button into the downloads folder. So we're saving our skin into our downloads folder. Press it and you are now done with that step. Perfect. So you now have your custom skin downloaded. Now we need to go and get the skin pack that we're going to edit. So go back into Microsoft Edge, the app we were using earlier. And once you're inside of Microsoft Edge, we have to copy that URL from the skin pack this time. So go back to this Mediafire download page that you opened up and hover over the top URL up here of the Mediafire download page. And once you're hovering over this URL, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. And once you press on this button, it'll give you these options. And again, we need to copy this entire URL. So go to where it says copy right here, and we are going to press on that copy button. So very simple, we just uh, copied our entire skin pack link. And now you wanna go to the first app that we downloaded, My Files Explorer, right here. So go and launch My Files Explorer. And once you launch My Files Explorer, you will be met with this screen right here that says you need to install the standalone expansion game. Go to the left option where it says install from the store and press on the left option. And once you press on the left option, install from store, it will take you into the Microsoft shop and there will be another application right here for you to download, Expansion for Explorers. And this is the uh, the application that we're gonna be using for the rest of the video. So anytime I say like My Files Explorer, just make sure you use an Expansion for Explorer. But get this installed in onto your Xbox. You'll see two applications that look basically the exact same. But remember, we just wanna use Expansion for Explorers for the rest of this video. So now begin by launching Expansion for Explorers. You will see the folder icon while it is launching and then you will be met with your home screen right here and this is what that will look like. But once we are at this home screen, you want to go to the left side where it says download from URL and we're going to press on that to download basically from the URL that we copied a few seconds ago. Go to download from URL, press on that and then in the top right here you will see a search bar appearing. And now what you want to do on this search bar is you want to press A and then once you press A you want to press the button with the three lines on it. And then once that happens, it'll probably give you a screen. It'll give you your text box on the bottom, but it will also say like paste, cut, copy, your options right there. Once you see this, you wanna press B once, and then you wanna to go to where it says paste. So it's a little bit touchy, but basically you just wanna get your URL pasted into the top right here. And once you press on paste, you actually have to go ahead and hover over the URL one more time and press A on the URL, and then that will update it, and you will now see your Mediafire link in the URL up here. And once you see that Mediafire link, you wanna to go to the right side to this arrow facing forward and press on that arrow. That arrow will then take us to Mediafire right here and this time we can in fact press on the blue download button because we are in expansion and not edge. And once you press on that blue download button it will begin downloading to your device and it will automatically load you right here to where you'll see it. Your, uh, your .zip file right here, the definitive Christmas skin pack, which is perfect. But once we're at this screen, what we want to do is press this back button in the top left. You want to press this back button in the top left just once. That will then take you back to your homepage of expansion and you want to go and locate your downloads folder because this is where our custom skin will be. So uh, locate that downloads folder and press on it. And once you do that in here, you will see your custom skin and you want to hover over that custom skin, press the button with the three lines on it, and then you'll get options to appear. And from these options, you want to go to where it says copy file right here. And we're going to copy this uh, .png, make sure it's a .png skin file right here. So we press on copy, and once you do that, you can actually go back up to this back arrow in the top left right here, so we can go back to the home page. But press this uh, back button in the top left, 
And once you do that, it will take you back. And then you want to go into your My Expansions folder right here. It'll say that, locate this folder, and press on it. But once we are back in the My Expansions folder, find any blank space in here, hover over it, press the button with the three lines on it, and then go to where it says Paste, and that will paste in your, uh, your custom skin into this uh, proper folder. So yeah, get that custom skin put in here. And once you see it in here, you want to go and hover over this button in the top right. This is the multi-select button. We're going to multiple select two files here, so press on that. And after pressing on that, you want to hover over both your skin pack right here and your custom skin and make sure you have them both selected. So we have them both selected. Then you want to hover over the skin pack, press the button with the three lines on it, and go to where it says copy file. And these will copy both of your custom skin and your skin pack after you press on it, which is what we need. After you do that, you can go back up to the multi-select tool in the top right, and you can turn off this multi-select tool. And now, after we've finally done that, we've everything selected, you want to go over to the packages folder. So once we are inside of the packages folder, you will see a whole bunch of folders, but the one we are looking for is called Microsoft.Minecraft UWP Console. It looks like this. Now there is a chance that you will be missing this folder. If you're missing this folder, you can add in the folders yourself. There's a little directory that we have to follow here. If you're missing any of these folders whatsoever, you can add them all in yourself. You find a blank space, press the button with the three lines on it, and you can go to where it says create new folder. I have a video link down below uh, showing you how to create the file directory if you don't have these folders. And of course, I can always help best at my Discord. But once you find this folder, go ahead and press on it, and then you will, uh, you'll be prompted with these folders, and you want to go and find local state. Once we click on the local state folder, you want to go to where it says games, very simple, it will be the only folder in here. Then you want to go to com.mojang, this is the final folder, and once we are inside of the com.mojang folder in here, we will see our resource packs folder, behavior packs folder. Again, if you're missing any of these folders, find a blank space, press the button with the three lines on it, go to create new folder, and you can simply add them in yourself, but they have to be spelled 100% correct, all lowercase, exactly as they are shown on screen. And because we are getting custom skins, you want to press on the skin underscore packs folder. Once you're in here, find any open white space, and of course press that button with the three lines on it. And once you do that, it will allow you to paste in your skin pack and your custom skin once you press on that paste option, because you selected both of them, so they should both appear after you press on paste. Uh, and then you'll do that, and you'll see them both appear right here, the definitive Christmas skin pack and your custom skin. The first thing you want to do is go and hover over the definitive Christmas skin pack, press on it so you get these options, and from these options you want to go to where it says extract right here, and we're going to extract this .zip file so it turns into a folder. This will give us access to the skins inside so that we can swap out the skins. It won't take very long to extract this, just a few seconds, but once that is finally extracted you will now see the definitive Christmas folder right here, which is the one that we want to keep. So I go and hover over the Christmas.zip right here, press on it, and I go to where it says delete. I'm going to get rid of this folder because we don't need that .zip file anymore. So go ahead and delete that. But once we have that done, go and hover over your custom skin right here that is also in here. Press the button that we all know, three lines on it, and go to where it says copy file right here. We're going to copy our custom skin. And once we do that, we're going to go and find the definitive Christmas folder right here. And we're going to press on that folder once. Then we're going to press on this folder inside of that folder once. And finally, once you press on this folder, you will see the skin pack with all of the skins. And once we see this, you want to go all the way to the right right here, to this right margin, over the white space, and press a button with the three lines on it on your controller. And once you do that, you want to go to where it says paste, and once we press on paste, this will put our custom skin into the skin pack, and we are so close to being done now. You'll now see it up here, maybe towards the top, but it will be somewhere in this skin pack. And now we are going to delete one of these pre-existing skins and rename our custom skin. So this first one, TT2. We are going to get rid of this skin right here, hover over it, press on it, and go to where it says delete file right there. And that will delete the TT2.png, but you want to remember that name, TT2. It is now gone. And now what we're going to do is go and rename our custom skin to the skin that we deleted. So we're going to hover over it, press where it says rename. And once we have our custom skin's name right here, we're of course going to rename that to TT2 because that is the custom skin that we deleted. So we're just tricking the skin pack into thinking this is its own skin, but it's really our custom one. So it has to be spelled the exact same right there. TT2. If you swap out more skins, you'll have to get rid of TT3 and uh, change it to TT3. It's the same process for any skin you swap out here. I'm just going to show how to get one skin though. But we have our custom skin now in the skin pack called TT2, and that is perfect. Now go to the back button in the top left just once, press it once, and then it will take you back to this folder. 
Then you want to hover over the definitive Christmas folder that we were just inside of. And once you press on that, we're going to go to where it says rename from these options. And we're just going to give this a shorter name. So I just go ahead and name it the definitive skin pack. I get rid of Christmas in here just to give it a different name. So the definitive skin pack, just like that's what I do. Once you have that entered in, you can go and press confirm on this folder. So we just renamed that press confirm now we need to move this folder so go to where it says move folder right here that's the next button that we're going to press and we're going to select that option and after we press on move folder we just need to go back one option so we press on that then we go to the back button in the top left and we press on that once that'll take us back into our skin underscore packs folder once here find any white space press the button with the three lines on it and then press paste and that is now our custom uh, skin pack folder in the right place that's perfect you will see it appear in here. It's called the definitive skin pack. That's the one that we want to keep, but we want to get rid of the first one, the definitive Christmas skin pack, the one that has Christmas in it still. We can delete that folder, so hover over it, press the button with the three lines on it. And once you do that, you can go to delete the folder, make sure it says Christmas in it, not the new one. And then we'll delete that old folder just like that. So we just have the definitive skin pack. Then we're gonna also delete our custom skin that was in here. So find your PNG file, delete that too. And then finally, we have just got our definitive skin pack in here. You press on it once and inside will be all of your skins and your custom skin right there. And that is the finished product right there. Again, you can swap out as many of these 25 skins as you want, but just make sure you rename them perfectly. And if yours looks like this, you press on it once, you have all your skins there. We now have to go on to the final step, which is to reinstall Minecraft to load in the add-ons. There's a reinstall method, here's how you do it. If you want to add on any other custom worlds or mods or skins or anything, be sure to do that right now because we now have to reinstall Minecraft, uninstall and reinstall it in order to load the add-ons. So, and I will now show you guys how to reinstall Minecraft and we have to do this because it loads the add-ons when we do this. A quick disclaimer before we do this. So pretty much with this reinstall method, it's very new that we actually figured out that we had to do this with the recent updates. There is a very small chance. I would say this works for about 95% of people, but there is a chance for about 20 people. I've heard about 20 reports of doing this method. It makes people lose progress on their worlds. This mainly happens to next-gen players. But again, I've only heard about 20 reports of this out of like tens of thousands of people doing it. So I will say there is a small risk to this, but for me, personally on Xbox One. This also works on Xbox Series. It has always worked perfect for me. So the choice is yours, but the only way I know to load add-ons is now do this brand new reinstall method of Minecraft on your device. Okay, so we have all of our custom add-ons in the com.mojang folder ready to be loaded. So where we're at right now is I have normal Minecraft installed on my Xbox. I just typed in a Minecraft on the shop and I installed the normal Minecraft, what you probably already have installed the one that says included in Game Pass on the Microsoft Store. But once we're here from our home screen, the first thing we want to do is make sure that our Microsoft Store is all the way up to date. So if you just go ahead and find your Microsoft Store, you press on it with the button with the three lines on it, right of your center button. You can go to manage app and see if there's like any update here or anything, but just make sure you have this all the way up to date. And once you're sure it's all the way up to date, go ahead and launch the Microsoft Shop. And once you are inside of the Microsoft shop, you wanna go ahead and find the search bar like you would any other day. And once you're in the search, you wanna go ahead and type in Minecraft. Now, instead of going to the Game Pass version, we are going to find the Minecraft starter bundle right here. It says $30, this is the one you want. You won't have to buy it, don't worry, it's free. But you wanna press on the Minecraft starter bundle right here. Remember, we're not buying this, but once you're at this screen, you wanna start scrolling down. Keep scrolling down until you get to where it says in this bundle. And once you get here, you'll see plastic texture pack or anything, whatever pops up here, texture pack, press on it. It should be plastic texture pack, but go ahead and press on whatever pops up first here. And once you press on it, then you wanna go ahead and scroll down again until you get to where it says works with right here. And once you get to where it says works with, you will see this version of Minecraft right here. And this is the version of Minecraft that we want to install. So once you see this, it'll look like this. Go ahead and press on it. It will take you to an install page and you wanna go ahead and just simply press install on this version of Minecraft. And it will then say installing view and queue. And just like any other game one, it will start installing. Now it can be a little bit slow. For me, it takes a long time, but just be patient. It will load out. It takes a long time for it to move for me, sometimes 10, 15 minutes, but nevertheless, it will install all the way. Now that we have done this, you will see it appear as your first Minecraft right there, all the way to the left of your recently installed. And our next step is that we wanna go ahead and uninstall the other Minecraft that we have on our device. So we have two Minecrafts on our device right now. You wanna go ahead and find the other Minecraft that you have installed originally before you installed the starter bundle. And this will be the Game Pass version of the game. And we wanna get rid of this one by uninstalling it. So you wanna go ahead and hover over it, find it on your device, 
and you want to go ahead and press the button with the three lines on it right of the center button and once you do that you will get these options to appear from the side you'll get these drop down options and you want to go to where it says manage game and add-ons okay so you go ahead press on manage game and add-ons and you guys know how to do it basically we're just going to go ahead and uninstall this version of the game but you want to make sure this is the right version to uninstall and, and to know if it's the right version you want to check at its size right here it's 2.7 gigabytes that is the proper size if it's over 2 gigabytes that means it's the right one to uninstall and that is where you want to check before you want to install this but go ahead and now you want to uninstall this version of minecraft because you know it is the game pass version because it is over 2 gigabytes so go ahead and press right here it'll say you're about to uninstall that's okay go ahead and press uninstall and you'll then see that 2.7 go down to zero and that is how you know it is now off of your device leaving one minecraft remaining on your console and this would be the starter bundle version that we just downloaded a couple minutes ago so now we only have one minecraft on our xbox and that is perfect now that we just have this one from the starter bundle remaining we want to go ahead and try to launch it and once you try to launch it it'll say minecraft needs an update and that is perfect go ahead and press on the update button right here and that will begin the update for your minecraft now for me the update doesn't move for like 25 minutes so you might think it's not working people on next gen consoles it goes quick but for me it literally takes like 30 minutes to install this little update so it will be moving trust the process just let it sit for 30 minutes and then come back and you will see it now installed onto your device so right here, I actually left my Xbox, it kind of fell asleep, and the uh, it installed itself after 30 minutes, and then finally I returned to my Xbox to see in my recently installed one Minecraft right here. Press on that Minecraft, it'll launch, and once you are inside of the game, you can go to your dressing room button on the right side right here and press on that dressing room option. Then you want to go to the left side of these options, and you want to go to where it says classic skins on this left side. Press on classic skins. Finally, once you do that, it will take you to this page right here. And once you are finally in the page, you can go and find your uh, definitive Christmas skin pack right here. And in that custom skin pack, you will notice your custom skin towards the top because we replaced that TT1. And there it is. Press equip. It'll equip. People can see it on servers, worlds, everything. And you now have your custom skin. Perfect. Enjoy the skins, everyone. Hope this helped a lot. It's been Smitty. And until the next one, have a great rest of your day. Peace out.